All right. Uh, I want to make a quick video here showing how to get the Rover 40 amp MPPT charge controller to go into the programming parameters. The book is missing a point in there which uh, nobody knows anything about. So here we go. See if I can do this here. Okay, to get into the perimeter, you're going to press enter and hold it. Okay, now you see your battery icon is going to be flashing on the bottom and it's flashing flooded. So what you do is you're going to come over here. You're going to change that perimeter. Okay. And the perimeter you want is going to be user or use. Okay, USR. Okay. Once you get there, go back over, hit enter. Okay. It's going to take you over here to change the perimeter for your battery. Now, this is going to go through uh, a few phases here. You've got 12 volt, 24 volt. 12 and 24, 12 volt. Okay, since my system is a 12 volt, I'm going to leave that at 12 volt. Oh, also, just a quick note, that icon right there is telling you that you're in the programming mode. Okay, now, uh, I said that I was going to leave this at 12 volt because my system is 12 volt. Okay, now we're going to go back over here. We're going to enter, I'm sorry. We're going to press that again. Now, here... It takes you to the equalize. Okay, now if you want to change this perimeter, then you can hit the, the down or up arrow, okay, to whatever uh, perimeter you want to set. And just note that when, like 14.8, when that 8 changes, it's going to change in intervals of 2, okay? So I'm not going to change that because it's already set up. So we're going to go over here, we're going to hit enter again, and we're going to go to, what you're going to see now is uh, the boost, okay? Whatever your manufacturer of your battery says that that perimeter should be, that's what you're going to set it at. Again, use the down and up arrows to change that perimeter, okay? Once you've got it there, then you just come over here. You hit enter. That's going to take you over to whatever perimeter it is you want to set for the float. Mine is 13.8, so I'm going to leave it at that. And now I'm going to go back over here. And that's uh, showing you the battery. Uh, it's 12.6 on there, so we're going to leave it at that. Okay, then we've got uh, the volts. 11.1 uh, for now these are um, overcharge and discharge okay discharge I have that set at 11 I don't want the battery to go any lower than 11.1 volt okay then you hit enter and now you're back here so what you want to do now is you want to change that back to whatever type of battery it is that you have since mine is flooded, I'm going to go, let's see, okay, that's the flooded, and then you're going to come back over here, you're going to press enter and hold it, and there you are, okay, then uh, your perimeters are set, all right, and then everybody else knows about here, you, you hit uh, the up or down, and you can go through your, um, settings or, or, or what, what, what the panels are doing, what system is doing, okay? Okay, and that's uh, your amps coming from your uh, panels. Battery's fully charged. 13.8 volt. And that's your load parameter right there. What, uh, what would be going out to something that you may have connected okay i just run an led light in here so that's uh plenty good enough okay 
go back here. Five amp hour. One amp hour. And this is going to be the temperature of your battery. Uh, this is in Celsius. I wish they would have done these to perimeters here to where you could change between Celsius and, and uh, uh, Fahrenheit. Okay, so then you have to just determine what 27.0 Celsius is and Fahrenheit. And you can look that up on your cell phone. Okay, and there's your load. Perimeter. And this right here, if you had an error... Okay, the E stands uh, for like error. Okay, zero. And that little icon down there, since it's zero, there's nothing wrong. Everything is good. So as long as you've, you're showing that zero down there, you, you're fine. Okay, hit that again. Then that's going to take you back to your main, your main screen. So anyway, I hope this helps you out, you know. I can try to do another video better a little bit later, but I just wanted to do this in here and throw it out there. Okay, folks, uh, thank you for your time, and I hope uh, maybe I taught somebody something <laughs> from once in my life. Take them easy, people.